Hey everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Predestination. So, a little personal story behind this selection. Um, as you know, I normally like to say, as you know, yeah, you probably don't know. But anyway, let me tell you, as you would like to know, I um, like to save longer movies for the weekends. But I still like to watch movies every night, right? So I'm like, and most of the time, what happens is, I'm searching for a movie... I find it, I don't know, too expensive, don't want to watch it, whatever, too long, you know, something like that. So, but I have all this IMDb wish list that I have, I hear somewhere, I get it on Facebook, whatever, somebody gives me something, I'm like, all right, I'll watch it, you know, you thought it was good, and whatever kind of thing. And then I realized last night, like, why don't I just look at my list, find movies that are hour and a half long, hour and 30 or less, or less than an hour and 40 minutes. Anything with an hour 30 something and lower. And write them all down and go backwards. Go backwards on my list from the oldest movie and start watching them. And I was like, that's what I'm doing starting today. Well, <laughs> wouldn't you know it, that the first one that I looked for, um, and maybe you've heard it, Interview with the Assassin. That's what I looked for. I can't find it. You have to buy it on Amazon, like the DVD. Like, I'll have to keep looking. But if anybody else knows where to grab that digitally, I will watch that one. I don't feel like buying a DVD. And then I was like, all right, I'll go to the next one. And the next one didn't look that good. And I'm like, I'm already blowing the one idea I had. Predestination came out, and I was like, all right, hour and 37 minutes hits the criteria. It's a little bit down on the list. One, two, three, four, five. But two of them I couldn't five find. So anyway, it's an hour and 37 minutes long, and here's what, 7.5 in IMDb. And I realize now, nobody's watching this review because 272 people have rated this movie so far. I had to get up and check my Netflix list. If you go to KimballsIrishPub.com, you'll see I have all my Netflix stars that I rated movies on prior to 2016 when I started this on IMDb. So, so over six years ago to see, did I rate it? Because I rate movies on there, and I have to—I can't find them on IMDb. Long story short, I've never seen it. So, 7.5 and almost 300,000 people have rated it so far. That's awesome. Ethan Hawke is the only name I recognize, um, and he's got a final assignment: a top temporal agent must pursue the one criminal that has eluded him throughout time. The chase turns into a unique, surprising, and mind-bending exploration of love, fate identity and time travel taboos not a big fan of time travel anybody will tell you that in movies the only reason is because you can fix anything with time travel you could fix holes plots twists that's why i don't like time travel but movies about time travel they're usually pretty good you know what i mean so i don't know sorry you got a lot of information right there um to just come watch me review this movie but now you know why i'm watching it i am excited Let's get into it. I'll find out what it's about. See if anybody else I know is in it. And uh, see where it goes from here. All right. And let me know, if you don't watch the rest of this, let me know if you know where to get Interview with an Assassin. That looks pretty good. So check that out, too. But all right. I'll be back. Hey, everybody. Normally, I'd say we're at the credits of Predestination, but the credits are long over. Um, sorry, no check-ins. I... Uh, it's, I mean, it was very entertaining. I was really into the movie, kept my interest the entire time, and it's hard to really understand what is truly going on, like, to have a check-in, you know? Um, it started off uh, interesting, so, you know, there, there's a long story told to really set up the entire thing that's going on. A person walks into a bar, and Ethan Hawke happens to be the barkeep, if you will, and starts to, I mean, it starts off basically, I mean, some, a little bit happens before that, but the, uh, the, the um, patron starts to tell, he says, hey, I've got the most interesting story you'll ever hear, I'll bet you a bottle of liquor. And so the story starts to be told. And it's very, very interesting, and you're watching it, and it's very, very important. Um, and then the rest of the movie kind of unfolds. I mean, honestly, that was, the majority of the movie was setting this groundwork um, for everything, and, and there's other pieces that are helping set the groundwork throughout the entire storytelling piece, 
Um, and uh, it, it's very intriguing. And I'm like, this is not what I thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to see a bunch of jumping around through time and trying to catch somebody and things like that. I also felt like I thought I might have watched this, but, you know, it became slightly predictable to me as well. So I might have gone back in time and seen it. Um, really, I don't, but I didn't score it, so I can't believe I saw it. Maybe I saw part of it and I turned it off. I don't know. Because when it gets to the end of the entire thing, you know, I'd still be uncomfortable, um, to say the least. So, I don't know what else to say about it. I mean, like I said, the entire movie keeps me entertained. Um, it's somewhat, I'd say, a little bit hard to follow. Um, I think I got it all, but I think a second time through would help um, for me. But there's the one burning question that I think everybody has. And I get it, it's actually used as a joke in here, and I'm not going to say it because uh, if you haven't seen it, I don't want this joke to, to or not like a riddle or a joke or, you know, the I don't want to ruin it for you if you haven't seen it um, and, and put that in your mind as you're watching this whole thing. I had my own predictions, which came true for the most part, um, but uh, that burning question. Just it, it it kills me, and that's what I was doing. That's why I wasn't watching the credits. I was googling to see if there's some answer to this question that might be out there. Well, it's not like on the first page of Google. Let me tell you that. So, my advice to you: if you want a really interesting type movie that might be holes in you know the time travel sci-fi aspect of it, you know I don't get into all that like. It's for fun, right? So if there are some things going on, whatever. Because you always think about if you go back in time, what's it going to do, right? Um, but uh, if you like those types of movies, Time Machine, that was a good one. Um, and you know, Hot Tub Time Machine, another one. But, you know, if you, if you like those kinds of movies, and this one's really well done, I think. Um, you'll enjoy this at least, at least the first 45 to an hour of it. And then... We'll see how you feel about the rest of it. But if you want to feel, I'll say unsatisfied. Like I said, there's a burning question. If you want to feel unsatisfied for the, you know, for as long as you can remember this film, um, go ahead and watch it. I mean, if you're okay with that. Uh, if you're not okay with that, don't watch this movie. Um, so it's probably very intriguing what I'm talking about if you've never seen it and it's not spoiling in anything you know it's just um, I'm just telling you how I feel so there you go I liked it good uh, what would I give it I mean it was really still a good film and not everything has to have you know a bow on top but uh, I gotta give it a seven which is a pretty good score, I'd say. Definitely not a 6. It was so well done and could be an 8 somehow. Not sure how. Uh, you know, I'm not sure if my problem with it being solved would jump it up to an 8 or not. I don't know. But if you haven't seen it, check it out. It's definitely worth watching. I respect the 7.5 that the two, th the almost 300,000 people have given it. I get it. I'm with you. I understand it. But, 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 but. So, there you go. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I was helpful in any way. Um, if not, I'll go back in time and re-record it. But I'd uh, love to hear your thoughts. Uh, try not to spoil it with other people. Um, but this would be an interesting conversation. I wish you were here. And we could just talk and be like, so, give me your thoughts. But we can't do that. You can't. Well, you can put it in the comments if you want. Just put those spoiler alert kind of things in there. You don't want to ruin it for other people. All right. You know how the game is played. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Of course, subscribe if you haven't already, and of course, tell all your friends what a great YouTube channel this is, and have them subscribe. So, all right. That's it. Thanks for tuning in. Kimmel's Irish Pub.